Hello, welcome to the Belmont Church Devotional. My name is Phil Kendrick and I am your host today. I'm wearing one of my most precious shirts. It's one that I got in Kenya. It was given to me uh, by some dear friends that are farm workers there and are not well off by any standards. The passage today initially is from 2 Corinthians chapter 8. This is uh, Paul's uh, message to the Corinthians about uh, some brothers in Macedonia. Verses 1 through 4. And now, brothers, we want you to know about the grace that God has given the Macedonian churches. Out of the most severe trial, their overflowing joy and their extreme poverty welled up in rich generosity. For I testify that they gave as much as they were able, and even beyond their ability, entirely on their own, they urgently pleaded with us for the privilege of sharing in this service to the saints. Isn't that wonderful? Um, they were begging Paul for the opportunity, the joy, the privilege to share in this service to the saints. Uh, we have that opportunity now. We have that opportunity all the time, but especially now a lot of people are facing very tough economic times. So uh, I urge you to, to pray to the Lord for the best way that you can share uh, generously with the saints. A few paragraphs later in chapter 9, Paul says more, and I'm going to read this from the Passion. Here's my point. A stingy sower will reap a meager harvest, but the one who sows from a generous spirit will reap an abundant harvest. Let giving flow from your heart, not from a sense of religious duty. Let it spring up freely from the joy of giving, all because God loves hilarious generosity. Yes, God is more than ready to overwhelm you with every form of grace so that you will have more than enough of everything. Every moment and in every way, he will make you overflow with abundance in every good thing you do. Isn't that a wonderful promise? Finally, now let me speak this blessing over you from uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 7. But just as you excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in complete earnestness and in your love for us, see that you also excel in this grace of giving. During this time of hardship for so many, uh, let's not just be generous. Let's be extravagantly generous and let us excel in this grace of giving. Thank you. Thank you.